boys and girls, my name is Halsus T and welcome to another beautiful day in Minecraft. And today we will continue with building. And we are building a new farm. So below me we have the tree farm that we decorated two episodes ago. And um, one problem with this farm is it requires bone meal. And our old bone meal supply over at the uh, cactus farm is going to dry pretty soon. Because that cactus farm is broken. So it's time to do a new one. And we will do it right beside the tree farm so the bone meal does not need to be uh, transported too far. And I have laid out the structure here. So here in the middle we have a 17 by 17 square that will actually be uh, the uh, drop area uh, where the uh, cactus uh, are collected. And then on the outside, this is the uh, outline of the building. And uh, I thought uh, today we will do it a bit different. Uh, basically, uh, building up the building up the, the structure around it first and uh, then do the form itself. So you notice that uh, uh, we have uh, a, a gap here. Um, that's just to give us enough uh, room to uh, to build something nice and I will not start with the uh, uh, ground floor which is uh, uh, four high uh, but um, do I have some dirt here yes the other scaffolding block so Basically, um, let's do it this way. So on this level, I will uh, uh, start the uh, basic structure of the uh, uh, tower because the uh, cactus form will uh, go up. Cactus is uh, not growing that fast and uh, the outer shell will be uh, or will start at that block and then I think one block in and you can see there at the back where the back wall of the building is pretty much uh, against the back wall of uh, the dugout area there so um, there is definitely uh, some terraforming that needs to be done but uh, let me uh, prepare this uh, this area a bit and uh, then let's start uh, building with a time lapse I think that's uh, that's most uh, convenient so see you soon for whatever reason Replay mod did not record as it should. Maybe it was too hot. Maybe I uh, took too long to build it up. So uh, let's have a look at the first part of the uh, finished building. This is uh, just the upper part. I left out the uh, ground floor because that one is a bit uh, uh, different and uh, this is based on 
an image I saw by um, Mr. Hustler and um, if we have a look here uh, the uh, existing uh, two red brick building they are more in a in a style of uh, uh, 18th 19th century industrial building and uh, this new building the sandstone building uh, while probably sandstone is the wrong material is more like uh, uh, 1930 building so um, I'm seeing there uh, elements of the uh, uh, Chrysler building or uh, the, the skyscrapers uh, from Chicago uh, so next up will be uh, the ground floor and then the uh, actual farm in it and uh, let's try another replay the collection system is done now uh, nice and flush with the uh, floor here um, water streams from the right and left pushing to the middle and then one strip all the way to the middle and then collecting everything in here and then I can smelt up the uh, cactus uh, for uh, dye uh, this one is for the fuel or I can uh, collect the cactus and once uh, here is everything full then it will be uh, composted and that runs into a hopper line that goes all the way to the to the tree farm into the uh, input there so next up will be uh, basically uh, hello there um, will be basically um, doing the uh, uh, step up here and uh, the farm on top as cactus is very slow growing I need lots and lots of cactus in this farm and even with this farm built up all the way to the top I don't think it will be enough uh, uh, to uh, provide enough uh, bone meal to uh, fuel the tree farm when running but then again uh, we will also uh, uh, produce bone meal while the tree farm is not running while building this up I did not even collect a double chest full of uh, cacti drops um, and I think uh, on average you need at least four cacti for one bone meal but then again we will have other farms that will also create bone meal so the build up here is uh, simple uh, once you uh, have it uh, uh, down it's uh, basically I saw in uh, a video of uh, Xuma White um, where you have the sand layer and the cactus on top and you have a uh, wall pillar at the corners so uh, basically you have a window on the sides and then on top there are two layers of wall all around and the lower layer that will actually pop off the uh, the cactus and the, the, the too high wall will basically prevent 
the cactus to uh, uh, fall off and fall into the neighboring cactus. So all the drops will hopefully drop straight down in the gap between the sand and the cactus. And uh, this is important because we, uh, we want to minimize the uh, loss of drops there. And then on the, uh, the top wall layer there is uh, a string placed so that the next sand block can be placed on top of that. And then it's just repeat. At the bottom layer it's exactly 64 uh, cacti. And I'm not quite sure, but I think all the way to the top it's uh, it's uh, 15 layers. And of course, as the uh, building gets narrower to the top, um, I also have to uh, uh, cut away uh, with some lines of uh, cactus form on the on the sides, but. It's all filled up, it's all working, and that's the main. I just realized that I never did show you the finished ground floor. So to finish this video off, here it is. On the front side we have of course the uh, entrance. Uh, that's a bit decorated, then we have the the same theme as, as from above with the uh, orange uh, pillows in the, in the corner, then the windows from black and uh, gray panes. Uh, I choose those because um, I wanted that you can distinguish that it's not just one uh, glass pane in there but it should be uh, distinguishable, uh, but the the contrast between the colors should not be uh, that that high. And I found gray and black work the uh, best here. And uh, then a bit more decoration uh, all around compared to the uh, upper parts. And then here on the uh, side and also on the on the back, uh, I also added a bit of uh, of iron bars before the uh, windows, um, because on the ground floor you have to be uh, careful with uh, burglars and uh, zombies and uh, highwaymen. And as the ground floor is larger than the tower on top, we basically end up with, uh, with a nice uh, terrace or balcony on the, on the two sides uh, that's uh, fenced off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider a like and uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you then. Goodbye.